What's up everyone and welcome. In this episode, we're going to talk about a vulnerability leaving roughly 277,000 routers open to attack. Hackers are potentially using your router as a proxy to attack other devices, companies, or even people. Imagine if the authorities show up at your door saying you hacked company XYZ because all of the traffic came from your home or your PC. Let's see what else we can learn to protect ourselves and others from this story. Oh, drat these computers. They're so naughty and so complex. I could pinch them. A malicious campaign known as Eternal Silence is abusing UPnP or Universal Plug and Play. It turns your router into a proxy server used to launch malicious attacks while hiding the location of the real threat actors. UPnP is a connectivity protocol optionally available in most modern routers that allows other devices on a network to create port forwarding rules on a router automatically. This allows remote devices to access a, particularly, a particular software feature or a device as necessary with little configuration required by a user who may not have the skills to do that. However, it is yet another technology that trades convenience for security, especially when the UPnP implementation is potentially vulnerable to attacks allowing remote actors to add UPnP port forwarding entries via a device's exposed WAN connection. Researchers from Akamai have spotted actors abusing this vulnerability to create proxies that hide their malicious operations, calling the attack upon a UPN proxy. Out of 3,500,000 UPnP routers found online, 277,000 are vulnerable to UPnP or UPN proxy, and 45,113 of them have already been infected by hackers. So you could be infected already and not even know about it. Congratulations, you're doing a great job by wanting to learn about this eternal silence attack using UPnP uh, protocol and by watching my episode about it. I appreciate your support, and if you think I can improve on anything or you just want to say hi, don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, smash the bell to be notified when I upload new episodes where I give you insights into these new important cybersecurity stories. My insights, you can be better prepared to protect your company, your family, and yourself against these and other cyber attacks. So hit the subscribe button now and let's continue to learn about this story together. Akamai's analysts speculate that the actors attempt to exploit Eternal Blue, which is CVE 2017-0144, and Eternal Red, which is CVE 2017-7494, um, on unpatched Windows and Linux systems, respectively. So, Eternal Blue is Windows, and Eternal Red is Linux. Leveraging these flaws can lead to an array of potential problems, including resource consum uh, consuming crypto miner infections, devastating worm-like attacks that quickly spread to the entire corporate networks, or initial access to corporate networks. The new rule sets defined by the hackers contain the phrase Gialetto Silenciosa, which is Spanish for silent cookie. The injections attempt to expose TCP ports 139 and 445 on devices connected to the targeted router, roughly 1,700,000 machines running SMB services. Akamai is unsure about the success rate of this campaign, but observed a systematic approach to the scans, targeting devices that utilize static ports and paths for their UPnP daemons to inject port forwards. Restate and reaffirm the danger here. Leveraging these flaws can lead to an array of potential problems. Again, including resource consuming crypto miner infections, devastating worm like attacks that quickly spread through entire corporate networks and or initial access to those corporate networks where they can then do ransomware attacks, uh, data exfiltration, stealing your secrets, uh, whatever. Eternal Silence is a very cunning attack because it renders the practice of network segmentation ineffective and doesn't give any indication of what is happening to the victim. The best way to determine if your devices have been captured is by scanning all endpoints and auditing the NAT table entries. UPnP or Universal Plug and Play is a set of networking protocols that permits network devices, think about laptops, desktops, printers, internet gateways, uh, Wi-Fi access points, and 
other mobile devices, iPads, iPhones, Apple Watches, Samsung, you name it. It allows all these devices, UPnP allows these devices to seamlessly discover each other's presence on the network. So find them. How does my iPhone know that my Apple Watch is on the network? Or how does my, my computer know that my printer is on the network? It's through UPnP. It is not easy for administrators. Forget about mom, dad, or grandma. It's not easy for administrators to detect malicious NAT injections because of the lack of visibility into them on an infected router. Due to the automatic nature of UPnP and NAT, again, it's meant to be automatic. It's meant to just work, plug and play. It's in the name. Due to that, these rules aren't meant to be maintained by humans. This means there's no easy way for a human to audit or modify them on the device. If you log into your router, how do you monitor or modify your net communications? There will also be nothing out of the ordinary happening across your internal networks. Unless attackers, of course, inject net entries to pivot into your LAN and try to dig a little deeper. So there's going to be nothing out of the ordinary since these packets are kind of like bouncing off your network or through your network. The packets would be received and then routed out of the one interface on the affected device. So they're just using you as sort of a touch point and bouncing off to the other network. And then the endpoint thinks that you're the one who's attacking them when it's really just being passed through. Now, owners of devices compromised with eternal silence need to reset or flash their device. This is important. You need to reset it or flash it. Experts explained that just disabling UPnP alone might not clear existing NAT injections because the enabling and disabling of the functionality does not necessarily delete or reinstate existing rules that have been created. They're like two separate entities in a sense. They're linked, but they're two separate entities. Having one off doesn't mean that everything gets deleted on all routers. So how do you know if you're even affected? The best way to identify if a device is vulnerable or actively being leveraged. Again, we had the, you know, the eternal blue and we had the eternal red windows and Linux systems. So you would want to test each one of those individual systems um, and see if they're actively being leveraged for UPnP proxying. Um, the best way to do that is to scan the endpoint and audit your NAT table entries. Now there are a bunch of frameworks and libraries available in multiple language, including like bash scripts you can download and just let it run. And that's what you should do if you think that your system is infected. That I say, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe if you haven't already and smash the bell if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next episode. Take care.